I love coming to the Sea of Galilee. And obviously a lot of people, a lot of people who are Christians, who are Bible readers and Bible lovers love coming here. I mean, you, you might wonder about the ruins sometimes about, is this really this place or that place? But when you get to the Sea of Galilee, a big body of water like this, you know, that's the same Sea of Galilee that appears in our, in our Bibles. And so many stories happened here that are so important to us. I <laughs> think of Jesus walking on the water. Or what about that time when he, he, he stopped a storm in its tracks, just spoke to it, be still, and it, and it obeyed. The disciples were as amazed as we are, probably much more amazed because they were there. The, things happen not very far from this place that we've told those stories and loved those stories all of our lives. The feeding of the thousands with a boy's sack lunch, the healing of different individuals, a leper here, a, a woman who had been sick there, parents whose daughter had just died and they watched Jesus speak to her and she lives again. The joy around Jesus in this neighborhood is indescribable. And this is the neighborhood. Jesus did most of his miracles that we know about not very far from this very spot. You know, I think the most amazing thing of all is that he came here, uh, that he came anywhere. If Jesus is who he said he was, and he claimed to be God in human flesh, there's no doubt about that. Why did he come? Isn't that the most amazing miracle of all? Could anyone other than God in human flesh have done the kind of things that Jesus is said to have done? You, you can't just turn disease into health without being the creator of life. You certainly can't take death and turn it into life. You can't control the weather or, or ignore the usual pattern of creating food or defying gravity. Jesus did all of those things. But you know, people came to a point where they realized Jesus was a lot more than just someone who could give them a stunning miracle from time to time. He had more to offer than just curing them from a temporary illness. For they came to realize that if they knew Jesus, they had a hope that just overwhelmed all of life's circumstances, no matter how difficult those circumstances became. In fact, they came to believe that they had a hope even as they died because of who Jesus was, of what he said, and what he had done for them. You know, you don't have to come to Israel to know this Jesus. You can, wherever you are, you can, you can know Him intimately right now. No matter what you've done, there's enough grace for every single one of us. And I'll promise you this, as surely as Jesus once stood on this ground and walked along these paths and came to this neighborhood, if you desire Him to come to you, that's what He'll do. I invite you to know Him if you, if you don't know Him. You'll find His stories and His truth and His message in, in the Bible. And you can trust that message and know for sure that God loves you. In Israel, I'm Andy Cook, I'm thanking you for joining us as we all experience Israel and the joy of the Lord right now.